In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a really cool sci-fi hard surface detail. Let's go. Hey guys, Rick here from Blend the Bros, and let's get started. Cube in. So now, this video is not for beginners, so if you are a beginner, you should be watching our hard surface jumpstart course, which is, by the way, linked in the video description. So if you, you know, new to Blender and you want to learn some solid basics, that's where you should go. And if you're an add-on user and you know you're still a bit confused then you should be watching our terminal course which is also free and also in the video description so now here we're going to move this out here i'm probably gonna have to slice these cubes out w and let's just grab an angle on slice this cube here so it doesn't you know protrude here uh, move it in here this cylinder it down now we're going to be using it as a cutter so shift d and we're going to h it so hide it click that and sharpen it now what we need to do is we need to remove this bit here and also i need to save it we're going to be using machine tools align here so this is a bottom vert here right so let's just grab that here and align it right so alt a down grab that and control click here and alt a and grab that and control click here and alt a and left then press 3 to clean it you need to have cleanup enabled now if you don't know how to use machine tools go ahead and watch my you know tutorial i have a massive toot on it actually two uh, on how to use machine tools right so here we're going to cut it so difference right then i'm going to grab this cutter okay here shift d right scale it okay Scale it in here and let me just extend it up in this side. So here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that, okay, this part here, and I'm going to Alt S, right, and expand it here like that, okay. And we're going to cut it so uh, booleans and difference, right? And we're gonna make it a little bit wider, okay, so something like that let's see let's apply that here and we could grab these edges and actually curve them all right and mirror to the other side cool that is a nice touch so now we're going to alt h it and scale this a little bit right like that and let me see let's just move it in here and make it larger and move it somewhere here so it kind of follows this angle here. Now this is not ideal here, you see that? This cutter is a bit skewed, let me just fix it a bit. So I have a scroll, right? Let's go here. Uh, drop another, you know, edge here. It's gonna be flat. And we could fix this one, okay? So GY and just, you know, relax it a bit. How about okay, that's much better. These small details are important, you know? I'm thinking this actually could be good. So let's just scale this and throw on some loops here. Now here, this one, let's apply that. Okay, so operations multiply. And we could grab this here and bevel it. Same here. Right. And then we could combine them so booleans union right and sharpen and then we don't really need this what we do need is a chamfer i mean bevel here so we could go with um uh, offset cut and gonna make this a bit smaller And uh, let's see, this should work really nicely. Cool. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a, you know, of problems here and there, but we can fix them, right? So, could even run the Boolean cleanup. So, why Boolean cleanup? And you could, you know, move these and sort it out like that. And weighted normals, and you're good to go, right? It's a flat surface. So here, 
we could uh, chat for this so let's just delete that and we're going to chat for that and scale it in and extrude it past the half and alt x and click here and maybe bevel this yeah that's pretty cool i like it awesome here we could just bevel that you know um like that no problem here in the back we could um create some kind of uh, additional element here um we could bevel these and we could actually bevel this one as well technically you know but, uh, I, and then bevel this one and then click alt click and bevel this this is gonna go, get in the way so we're going to clean that click alt click all the time and bevel it here cool and the calculate sharpens interesting this part here could be um, of a different cut like that and we could uh, have a really hard slice here select everything alt n we calculate outside this is pretty interesting and here we could have you know two um two openings so one and two and mirror and here you know go like this so shift v align toward align in orto and b and just slice it okay cool so that's that here inside we could have you know a bit of a EM macro here with alt right and the middle itself could be shift curve extracted in sharpened right and then you need to enable thread with machine tools is that turned off hang on machine tools thread and save preferences now right click there we go thread and then it just increases to whatever and let me see how we looking Oh, we're looking good. Save this. Something is red here, so select everything. Alt then I can go outside. I think it's bevel that's overshooting. Yeah. Just be careful with the bevel, yeah. It's a machined piece. It shouldn't be too, you know, too beveled anyway. So, we lost the cavity, I think. Yeah. There we go. And here you see we could um, do something really interesting. So click Alt click and just you know share that. So you're gonna have this outline, and then uh, we could run uh, either circles or could run circles here like that. Okay, and then Shift S to geometry, Shift S cursor to select it. Is it in the middle? I hope so. Uh, I'm gonna scroll and then mesh tools control click on the radial and you're good to go that looks really nice awesome that looks really cool nice 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 now these edges here the bevel doesn't catch so we need to change it to weight and bob jungle here we're going to apply that so sharpen and then um, let's just create a chamfer here or you know actually chamfer is gonna do yeah the bevel is a bit too big so we're gonna make it smaller but this is a machined piece yeah so there we go I think this is good. Mm, cool. Okay, guys. So now, you know, we can just very quickly uh, add some mods to it. Yeah. So 
I'm thinking that um, we could have we could have some um, GitHub mods running on this one. So select that and so let's go to asset loader. This is the EV and cycles material system by Chip Walters for GitOps. Link is in the description. Grab it. It's amazing. It's really easy to add mods with this. It's just a joke. And here we could have a shiny one. Um, and also we could have some dirt on it. This one could be actually floating, so it'll be more interesting. And blank mud. I'm gonna make it dark grey. So, and non-metallic, I think. Um, darker. And rougher. Could have some clear coat. There you go, let me see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's add some dirt to it. So, let's go to Dirty and Hero. And insert and cancel with the right mouse button. It's a bit of a trick. Go to Shader and Shift A, Group. Hero and pop it in here. There we go. We don't have to do much with it. And here, Control C, Control V, and boom, right? And you're good to go. Maybe it's a little bit too much, so what we could do is, you know, lower the intensity a bit. So amount, just, uh, you know, pop it down a bit. So it's dirty, but. Now, remember that this mod comes with a bevel, so you need to turn it off here, right, to zero, okay, same here, otherwise it's just going to look a bit weird, because you're going to have two bevels running, okay, so just turn it off, and uh, so you have one bevel, right, okay guys, well that's it for this one, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.